Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how I apply the Cochrane Highly Sensitive Search Strategy for identifying randomized controlled trials in Medline to my search strategies. So first, I want to find the Cochrane Handbook, which is training.cochrane.org slash handbook, and I'll put a link in the video description below. And then I want to open the online handbook. In part two, chapter four, we see searching and selecting studies. And if we scroll down the table of contents, we see section four S1, which is supplementary material, technical supplement. It's a PDF document. I click on that. And then what I usually do is control F to find the Cochrane highly sensitive search strategy. And here we are in section 3.6.1. It gives some background on the Cochrane Highly Sensitive Search Strategy and how it was developed. And if you scroll down, 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 you'll see in box 3A the Cochrane Highly Sensitive Search Strategy for identifying randomized controlled trials in Medline sensitivity maximizing version for PubMed. This is the one that I usually use, and it's right here. And if you keep going, you'll see the same thing, but it's a sensitivity and precision maximizing version, again for PubMed. And if you scroll down, you'll see the same things for Ovid Medline, Ovid Format. And if you keep scrolling, you'll see some filters for other databases. And they're all slightly different, so just be aware of that. But today, I'm going to use the first one from Box 3A. The Cochrane Highly Sensitive Search Strategy for Identifying Randomized Trials in Medline Sensitivity Maximizing Version. Now, if you are a line-by-line -line searcher and you like to run everything on lines, you can just copy and paste this as it is. It should make sense to you. However, I'm a text block searcher, so let me show you how I might apply this to an already created search that I've got. I'm going to set this aside. And here's a search that I have. It's on brain injuries and functional neuroimaging. You would expect to see probably some animal studies on this. Let's look in PubMed. I'm just going to paste it here and click search. And we get 975 results. Now, I'd like to apply this filter. So it looks for randomized trials and it also excludes animals, preclinical studies. And the hardest part is just copying it. You can also type it out by hand if you like that kind of thing. So you really need to get up through there. And then I'm going to go over here and paste it. And I'm going to say just keep text only. And we'll get rid of some of this junk that came along with it. We don't need the line numbers. We're going to, we're going to make it into a text block search. So these are already established publication types and subheadings in PubMed. And what we need to do is just turn it into a search. I'm going to copy it and go to home. Let's make this bigger now that we're not in the Cochrane Handbook anymore. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And what I'll do is replace, and we will replace hard returns with or space, O-R space. Let's replace all and say no. Now, it looks like it gave some extra spaces here, so I might just clean that up by hand. So it becomes our third concept, and we need to nest it by putting it in parentheses. We're ignoring this part for now. And I'm just going to fix some of the spaces. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, and actually I have this saved in a document so that I don't need to do this every time I need it. I've already got it. But I'm just showing you how I might use it. You could use any of those Cochrane strategies from the technical supplement. We'll get rid of this last or we don't need it. So let's just show you that. I put an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis and I can copy my whole search now. And remember, we got 975. Let's make this bigger again. We'll go back to PubMed. And now we've added a filter for randomized controlled trials from Cochrane Handbook. We're going to search and we get 218. So of that group of 975, 
This search found only 218, which met the criteria for randomized trials. Now, the last part of that filter is to exclude animals. So it's simply a not. And you'd see this if you looked at the supplement. So here it is. We have all of these ORD together and then those not animals, not humans. It's very confusing. And we'll put that in parentheses to nest it as a concept. And now we're looking for TBI and functional neuroimaging and randomized trials, not animals. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to PubMed. And let's see if that excludes a couple more. 207. So if you wanted to see the difference here, you could go into Advanced, and you could pick the larger search we had, which was 218, Add Query, and then add the smaller search with Not. So we want to see that difference, and if they were truly animal studies that we excluded. And this is in rats, and so you might just want to take a look and see. Not everything gets indexed with animals and humans, so you might still have some popping up in your main set of results. Now the other thing you can do with this filter, which is really nice, is we could ignore the RCT part completely and just get rid of that and just use our search, which is TBI and functional neuroimaging, and then exclude animals. It's just animal studies. We'll click search and we get 910 results. So let's go back and remember the original search we had, 975, and that's just the TBI and functional neuroimaging. So we'll add that query. And then we did TBI and functional neuroimaging, not animals. And so we'll add with not. And we should see about 65. Let's search. Yep, 65 results. And again, we see animal studies, rats, and so on. So again, that's how you might test your search, make sure it's working, but also look for RCTs and exclude animals. Try to wrap your head around that. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>